Hard to beat views like that. Right now I'm in Glyfada, Greece. Really thankful for my parents allowing me to tag along this trip. This place is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to go fishing. As you saw, the water is literally right across the street. I already have one of my rods rigged up, just a little micro jig. We literally just got here like two hours ago in Greece and we just got to this apartment. I literally opened the door, rigged up my rods and we're going fishing. So I'm gonna throw on the GoPro and I'll see you guys down at the jetty and hopefully we'll catch some fish. All right, guys, we fished a little bit with the small tungsten and the jig, but I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. There's a lot of current here, so we're just gonna switch to a little high-low rig with a size 16 nymph hook. We're gonna put some, some what I call ice on, but they're really just gulp, sandworms, bloodworms. You cut them up into chunks, throw them on the hook, use it as a drop shot, and the fish love it. We're gonna use the open packs first, though. Let's see, can we pull any fish out of the racks? Here, fishy. Huh. Ow. Oh, dude, there's bait everywhere. This is awesome. Stupid, stupid fish. There's fishies everywhere, but they don't want to bite. No, well, they're not even biting though. Like they're a type of fish that would bite, you know? Not very often, I don't get bites immediately when fishing these types of places. We'll get bites though. I'm just not seeing the, I'm just not seeing what I want here. Move this way a little bit. I, what I need are big holes, like big gaps between rocks where I can drop it down. And that's where they kind of sit, you know? Oh. Yes, Jared, Jared, let's go, I got a fish. Little grouper. That's so cool. I'll have to check my uh, ID guide, but that's a new species. New species. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a treble hook in his mouth already. Like someone already caught it. I was wondering why I was bleeding. All right, guys, our first species of grease is this little grouper. I can't remember wh what species of grouper in here, but some type of like lined grouper, like you can see the lines. But uh, he's got a trouble hook in the mouth that someone else left there. I'm not even going to try and remove that because probably will kill him because he's so small. But cool way to start off the Greek trip. See you later, buddy. 
We're just light rock fishing, just dropping these jigs into the holes, just feeling for them and letting it drop down. And once I feel the hole, I just kind of, there we go. Literally just jiggle it. There's nothing to it. Jiggle it and wait for a bite. Wow, it's deep. One of the problems with light rock fishing, you won't get snagged. It's a given. Shit. What is it, fish? What we got? Oh, he's a oh. Corkway? Oh no, five spot. Second species of the trip is a five spot ross. These guys were everywhere in Portugal, everywhere in Cyprus. Not a surprise to see them here either. What? Yeah, English. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, English cat. Just trying to move here a little bit. That's okay. Hi. You want you want a fish? What? What do you want? What do you want from me? He clearly wants scratches. Want some scratches? Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Had an immediate bite there. Go back down there. Make me proud. Got him. Whoa, tiny fish. Oh yes, a comer. Holy cat. I'm sorry I can't give this to you. This right here? This is a comer. This is a new species for me. In Cyprus, I caught painted comer, but this one's just a. This one's just called a comer. He just ate the drop shot. We're gonna get some pictures of him, and put him back. Excuse me, cat. Hey, second new species of the day, a little comer. Sorry, cat. Can't feed you. All right, we're gonna start making our way back to the apartment. There's a couple spots I'm gonna just drop in over by the boats, but other than that, we've gotta get back, eat some food. Ow, ow, ow. My poor toes. Scraped them boys along the rocks. All right, brother. 
they're gonna start walking there by the boats it's weird like i was expecting more fish to be honest but, I don't know. it's pretty cool <laughs> Fiend. <laughs> Jared, there's fish trying to eat my line. Look at them. Look at the little guys. They don't even want the. Oh, that one. That one smoked it. She probably put on a little. Cool. Do you see any sticks anywhere? Oh. Jared. Do oh. you see any sticks anywhere? Sticks. Like a literal stick. No. Oh, dude. You know what? I do. I think I might be able to catch one on this. Oh my gosh. Jared, look, I got one. Tiny little fish. Eat them. I do not know what this is Eat. at all. It's some type of sea bream though. Another new species. I think it's a red porgy. A red sea bream or something. That's cool. You want to catch one? Right. There's like 50,000 of them right there. Any person there? No, Okay. There was this cat that kept following Jared and I around yesterday. I might walk across the way. So, we've got a whole day. All right, guys. Ooh, what is that? Is there a barracuda? There's a little barracuda chasing some of these minnows around. It's day two, I guess I should update that. It's day two. Um, it's like 2 p.m on day two <laughs> because what the heck happened here I am jet lagged to hell and what the heck happened I'm jet lagged to hell so I slept in seen some mullet some random silver sides some random sea bream there's fish everywhere so we're just gonna start off with tanago you probably can't even see it but I've got a little tanago on here that I'm about to tie on but a tiny piece of gold minnow and that should be good enough to catch a couple species and then we'll head off to the end of the jetty toss some lures toss some drop shots hopefully get some cool stuff okay let's see what we can catch there's like some mullet type fish around some auxiliary sea bream maybe you know you want it Fish are scared and rightfully so. Come on. Oh, we got one. Oh, no, that was a dart. That was one of those little uh, pompano. Oh, okay. The fish are everywhere now. Oh, even the tanago is too small for some of these, or too big for some of these. Probably just another one of the same things from yesterday, but we'll take plenty of pictures to be sure. This one kind of looks like a black shot sea bream, but never know. All right, see you later, buddy. There's a boops boops. Oh, no, that's just an auxiliary. Oh. That one's different. That's a Salima. This is a different type of sea bream called a Salima. I can tell it's got 
slight yellow stripes on it. Can't really see too well on the GoPro, but it's another new species. Yeah, see you, Mr. Slim. Oh. Sweet. Ooh, scorpion fish. I'm catching you. The more I look, the more species I see. It's actually really cool. But I need jigs that. Oh, he's going for it. Come on. Got him. Oh, wait, that's a, is that a giant goby? Nope, just a huge black goby. Look at that thing. And the sun. Really cool. That was a scorpion fish, though. He was sitting up on the rock. He was angled upwards, so he looked uh, taller. Sweet. Thanks for biting, buddy. Dude, there's so many sea green around. Oh, I see another big boy goby. Come on, goby. You know you want it. It's right in front of his face. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I'm a little ice fishing jig. So many huge black gobies down here. Really cool though. They're eating jigs. Not quite exactly what we want, but good start. Oh, what is that? Big comer. Oh, he's trying to eat it. Wait, that's not a, that's a sea bear trying to eat it. Oh, got him. Oh, God, got him. Jesus. Bro smoked the jig. That is such a cool fish. Oh god. I see dude. Thanks for biting me. Alright. I now are fishing for the rest of the day. Ain't no reason to be throwing a bait rig when they're eating lures like that. A little bunch of mullet around. Anything in there? Why are they hiding in here in the grossest spots? Oh, what do we got? Oh, is that a giant goby? I think we did it. I think we got, yes, it is. We got what we want. A giant goby. This is like the pinnacle goby in the Mediterranean. They get huge, but this one's a little warped in the back and isn't very big, but I'll take it. See you later, dude. <laughs> like side swiping, we won't eat the whole thing. Come on. Caught it again. Ah, oh, he might have felt the hooks that time. Oh. And it's a, oh, it's a rusty, it's a Tom Rusty Blay. Sweet. On the jig. Oh, he bit me. He's got me. Just a tiny goby. It just that's our first rock goby of the trip, though. Hadn't caught any of these before, and what do you know? I catch it by a pile of rocks. Oh, 
No. Oh, there went a little hornet wrasse. Dude, these tomatoes suck, bro. Oh, we got one. I want to say that's a two banded, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to take a picture of it just in case. There's like so many species. It could just be a white sea bream that has all of its stripes. See you later, buddy. Thanks for biting. Oh, we got him. We got him. Yes, such a pretty fish. I just needed to catch one of these things and then I can focus on other species. See how beautiful these are? See what, see why? Literally something you'd pull out of an aquarium. The lighting is absolutely garbage, but that was a beautiful fish. Let me get a picture of it real quick and send it on its way. All right, guys, say thank you to Mr. Ornit Rass. See if we can catch a couple more. That thing is really beautiful, but we're going to target some other species in the meantime. Ah, oh, yes. There's a Madeira scorpion fish right in front of me. I saw, thought it was a rock for a couple minutes, but let's see if we can catch him. Oh no, the red-headed goby came out. Oh, there's one. All right, guys. All right, guys, you can't see it, but there's this really cool red-headed goby sitting on this rock. And it's blowing wind, so I can't, like, sharpshoot it. Like, I'm just gonna have to, like, hope that I drop on its head. I see the red-headed, the triple fin is what they're called. Oh, I dropped it right in front of his face. Come on, go to it. It's a very cool looking fish. It's like literally like orange, as orange as it can be, and a completely like jet black head. Oh, he, he turned on it. Got him. Dude, look at that thing. Completely, oh, that one's more like a brown head. And look at that orange, dude. That's such a cool fish. Triple fin is what they're called. They're just a goby, I'm assuming, but. All right, got some pictures. See you later, dude. Mom is calling me, so I gotta get back to her. I'm calling it. I could try and catch this one in front of me, but my parents are going to kill me. So, back to the car we go. All right, everyone, it's like day four and I just realized I didn't do an outro for like the first few days of fishing. I was just so exhausted and then we went to Athens. I didn't really get a chance to do it, but I hope you enjoyed. We caught like seven new species on camera. I'll actually have to go through count and tally that up, but it was super fun exploring a new place, seeing the beautiful mountains in the background and it was just awesome. Um, I'm about to go fishing again, so that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on another episode.